Today we'll look at using alternate glyphs in Affinity programs. Let's look at this font here called Black Sample. I'll put a link down in the description below. And just a reminder that when you have a subscription to Creative Fabrica, you can download all the fonts you want. So let's download this font. I'll save it here. And it's a zip file when you download it. I'll extract it. And I'll install it. I'll install the OTF version. I'll double click on this. I'll click Install. And now it's installed. Now I'm here in Affinity Designer. Let's see if we can replicate the text in the thumbnail here. I'll use the artistic text tool. I'll click this here. I'll type black. Then I'll type sample. And let's change the font of them. I have it selected here. I'll go here. And I'll select black sample. Now we can see it doesn't quite look like the thumbnail image here. For example, the K is much more stylistic in the thumbnail. And same thing with the L and the E on the end here. Also the B and the S also look different over here. In this case, we need to look at the glyphs for this font. A glyph is an image that represents a character, and some fonts have multiple glyphs per character. So to view the glyphs, I'll click Window up here. I'll select Text, and then I'll select the Glyph Browser. So I'll click this. And if it's not already selected, make sure you've selected your font over here in the drop-down. So it's Black Sample. Now if I scroll through, I can see all the different glyphs that are supported here. As I scroll towards the bottom, you can see many stylized versions of the same letter. So here you can see these letters have these wavy tails. Let's try to replace this K. I'll double click on it here. I'll press delete. Now let's see if we can find the K that represents the one in the thumbnail here. They're not always gonna be in alphabetical order, so sometimes you have to look around a little bit. And it looks like this one here. So I'll double click on it. And it's added to my design. Let's do the same thing with the B. I'll click in front of the B. I'll delete it. And this looks like the B in the thumbnail here. Let's click on this. And we can see it matches. Now sometimes when you use alternate glyphs, it won't recognize the spelling here. You can just ignore it. I'll double click on this. I'll right click and I'll say ignore spelling. Let's fix our bottom word here. Let's delete the S and let's find the one it looks like. I think it's this one here. Let's click on that and it matches. We can replace the L, looks like this one here. And finally, let's look for the E and it's right here. So by using the Glyph Browser, you can change the way the characters look. And by the way, on a fonts page in Creative Fabrica, you can also preview the glyphs. So I'm here on the black sample page. If I scroll down, you can see there's this button here that says view all glyphs. I'll click on that. And then on that page, if you scroll down again, all the way at the bottom, you can see the glyphs here. So you can see exactly what's available. If you'd like to see more videos about fonts, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.